This is a new video showing the operation of the asymmetrical capacitor thrusters with a new power source. In this case, I'm using a voltage multiplier, a Cockcroft Walton voltage multiplier. Initial power comes from this 12,000 volt neon sign transformer. This is the transformer. This circuit board is a noise filter to prevent high voltage from going back up the wires into the home wiring. 12,000 volts goes into this uh, multiplier. Here's the uh, output here which goes to the positive input of the asymmetrical capacitor thrusters. The ground connection for the thrusters is this wire here which is going out the window and into a metal stake pounded into the ground. And I will be controlling it from this uh, Variac transformer, which I'll turn on. The voltage is set to zero. And I will gradually increase the voltage until the thrusters begin to operate. At this point, you can hear the first hiss of the escaping ions. There is no movement yet. The hiss gets louder. Getting some movement here, turning, increasing the voltage, increasing the voltage. Hissing is quite loud now, and we are getting motion. The input voltage is about 100 volts AC. The uh, voltage multiplier is increasing this output of the uh, neon sign transformer, I believe, about four times. So I'm getting about 46,000 volts out of it at this point. It's considerably more powerful than the uh, TV monitor, computer monitor uh, power source I was using before. There you heard a, an arc. The power gets too high you will get arcing between the front and back electrodes on the thrusters. We're going to increase the voltage some more. More voltage means more thrust. We're gradually going to back off the voltage. You can hear a sound change in the hissing as the voltage decreases and the thruster slows down. The squeak is the knob on the Variac. Zero power. 